Hello, uh, thank you very much for inviting us to contribute to this seminar. My name is Teresa Sánchez Chaparro. I'm a professor and a researcher at UPM, Polytechnic University in Madrid, and I belong to the Innovation and Technology for Development Center at UPM, ITD UPM. And at ITD UPM, we are currently very actively participating in a multi-stakeholder platform, uh, Madrid Deep Demonstration. Uh, indeed, in 2019, Madrid was selected as one of the 15 demonstration cities to become carbon neutral in 2030 within the framework of the EIT Climate Kick Deep Demonstrations of Healthy and Clean Cities program. This demonstrator means expanding the space for political, economic and social collaboration and the implementation of what we call a portfolio of connected projects uh, and in this project, businesses, university, the city council, the citizens collaborate and try to find the best solutions in a number of priority areas. These priority areas have been defined in the so-called Madrid Carbon Neutrality Roadmap, which has been recently elaborated and is a guiding all initiative in, in Madrid demonstration. Of course, one of these priority areas is developing nature-based solutions, greening the city, developing new public policies and new management models to realize this goal of Madrid to becoming a greener city. And on this chapter, I would like to talk about one flagship project, one uh, big, really big massive project, which is the Madrid Metropolitan Forest. And as I say, this is a massive project to create a forest belt of around 75 kilometers long to reconnect the city's population with nature. And as I say, uh, the aim is to build a green forest ring around the city to address negative effects such as heat islands, poor air quality and loss of biodiversity, and also providing a green space for homes and neighborhoods, outdoor activities and increase the citizens' well-being and balance. Um, it also includes a very nice project to integrate the Manzanares River, this is the river uh, of Madrid, with the capital suburbs and restoring a land that has been traditionally occupied by landfills and creating a pedestrian and bicycle path in that area. In a way, this project tries to address also social inequalities in the city and restore areas, particularly in the south of Madrid, that are maybe not so wealthy and which has been traditionally occupied with the facilities, treatment plants uh, in the city. So as I say, it's a really massive transformative project and um, now we have just finished the tender uh, phase and uh, the project is being developed. It's, been, uh, it's in the final phase of uh, uh, development and we will start implementation soon. And I would say that something in terms of challenges, something we are realizing or Madrid City Council is realizing is that a project this big with, with this ambitious scope cannot be achieved without the collaboration and complicity of a wide array of actors in the city. And I would provide three examples. Uh, Madrid City Council is now seeking alliances with the private sector which could, for example, collaborate in planting trees and compensating their emissions at the same time. Um, and the Madrid City Council is developing new regulations around this, this concept of compensating emissions and involving the private sector. Uh, second is uh, we are trying to create alliances with university, trying to actively involve the academic community to contribute in the design of a specific technological solutions. And particularly, we are now creating a scientific council around the metropolitan forest to link prominent researchers of different areas around this, this important project. And finally, a Madrid City Council is also looking for collaboration schemes with the citizenship. And to that respect, there is now an idea of developing, for example, a collaboration with primary and middle schools in the area to engage these schools and students and teachers in the maintenance of the forest and taking care of the forest, making it work in the long term. Of course, we have still a long way to go. 
that we are already witnessing the power of collaboration and we are really convinced uh, in through Madrid Deep Demonstration experience that this is a way forward to realize this massive project, Green in Madrid and Metropolitan Forest. And we are also convinced that partnering and exchanging with other cities around Europe and beyond is very important to very useful to get ideas and new formulas for realizing this collaboration. That's all. This is what we wanted to share with you today, and we are really looking forward to continuing our conversation around nature-based solutions and greener cities in Europe and beyond. Thank you very much.